बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर इफ डेमोक्रेसी इज टू सर्वाइव द गवर्नमेंट विच स्वेयर्स बाय डेमोक्रेसी मस्ट गारंटी दैट नो बडी वुड डाई ऑफ हंगर इफ दिस इज नॉट गारंटीड एंड इफ दिस होप इज नॉट किंडल्ड इन द हार्ट्स ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ आवर पीपल आवर डेमोक्रेसी वुड बी मीनिंगलेस दिस हैज बीन स्टेटेड प्रैक्टिकली बाय ऑल ज्यूरिस्ट्स ऑल पोलिटिकल लीडर्स एंड सोशल वर्कर्स नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू नो द डिफिकल्टीज इफ वी टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन दैट दिस राइट इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड वॉट आर द इफेक्ट्स वेन आई वॉज स्पीकिंग ओवर द रेजोल्यूशन मूवड बाय माई एस्टीम्ड कलीग रिगार्डिंग नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न सिचुएशन आई मेड ए मैंशन दैट द टाइम हैड कम वेन यू शुड प्रोवाइड वर्क टू द पीपल और एलोवेंस इफ द वर्क कुड नॉट बी गिवन एट दैट टाइम द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर हैड सेट दैट दिस मैटर विच कंसर्नड द लॉ मिनिस्ट्री देयर फोर आई वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइट द अटेंशन ऑफ द लॉ मिनिस्टर अगेन ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट देयर इज ए प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इन दिस कंट्री द क्राइम इज ऑन द इंक्रीज देयर इज डिसटिस्फैक्शन एवरीवेयर देयर इज अनरेस्ट अमंगस्ट द स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स फील दैट इवन इफ दे टेक एनी नंबर ऑफ डिग्रीज दे आर नॉट अश्योर्ड ऑफ ए जॉब वी ऑल नो दैट विद नाइंटी परसेंट मार्क्स दे डू नॉट गेट एडमिशन इवन इन मेडिकल एंड इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस इवन आफ्टर गेटिंग एम बी बी एस एंड बी ई डिग्री वी आर सींग वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन दिल्ली क्वेश्चन आर बींग रेज्ड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर हाउस द नंबर ऑफ पीपल बिलो पॉवर्टी लाइन इज इंक्रीजिंग एवरी ईयर इफ वी सी दिस पर्टिकुलर डेटा I think a time has reached when we must introspect and find out the reasons for the same. The question that arises then is how these people are to live. May I ask the honorable minister a question? Should they starve? If they declare that they are going to die, would you prosecute them? for an attempt to commit suicide should they beg in that case you would prosecute them under the prevention of begging act should they steal if they do so you would prosecute them under ipc what should they do how should they live therefore it is in this background that we have to consider this matter very seriously and we have to decide as to whether the time has come to think seriously about this particular matter during all these years enough lip sympathy has been tendered by all of us without any exception i believe that time has come when we must go beyond this lip sympathy and we must give something in the shape of concrete proposal so that the government and the parliament can tell the downtrodden and unemployed and affected people that the parliament of india really means business and that it does not believe in giving only lip sympathy if we take into consideration this particular aspect and if we really enshrine this particular right in the constitution i believe a new hope will be kindled in the hearts of the millions of young people in our country younger people will feel that when they would attain the age of 
it would not be necessary for them to roam from place to place in search of a job they would be assured of a job and they would be very happy there would not be uncertainty in life the unrest and strikes in the colleges and schools will stop the problem of students unrest cannot be solved if we guarantee them this particular right of work for which i have made a humble attempt through this particular bill to be included under article 19 we see in big cities they track in thousands and thousands of people from the villages in search of jobs the position in my district is that every month money orders worth rupees 180 crores are received from mumbai from the ratnagiri citizens living in mumbai there are no youngsters in the villages only old persons live in the villages looking after agriculture this is happening because we could not provide any work to people in the villages when these people go to the metropolitan cities for work do they get it i am reminded of an old adage to which a reference was made by our honorable finance minister a very interesting adage which is applicable here on a dark night and a dark room people go in search of a black cat when in fact there is none this is the position with reference to jobs in the metropolitan cities under these circumstances i believe that we have to take into consideration this problem very seriously unemployment is growing everywhere if we take into account the data it is very serious problem which will become worse if we do not take some serious steps in time now with these words i conclude my speech for the need for providing employment to all young people in the country